cue the dramatic music. I wanted to introduce you to my image I'm really proud of right here. This image was in loan for PPA. It's really easy to look at an image and see the finished product. As we all know, the finished product has a long journey. And this particular image, it started probably about four or five years ago when I went to my second MOPA event called Photo Chaos at the time. I entered into print competition, which was very scary for me. This lady named Nicole Maynard, hmm, she's the current president of MOPA. She pushed me to enter my work into the print competition. I was like, mm -mm, my work is not worth it. I've seen what you do, I see what everybody does, and I am not worthy of entering print competition. But 2014, I got either brave or crazy, I still don't know which, and I entered my first ever print competition. I was scared out of my mind. But what I discovered was that while I wasn't amazing, I wasn't as bad as I thought. So I learned from that I actually wasn't a bad photographer. It helped boost my confidence. It helped me go, okay, I do know what I'm doing. And it also helped me go, okay, I see what I'm doing wrong. And it trained me and it trained me to grow. 2015, I knew I wanted to bring my A game up. I wasn't ready that year. So 2016 rolls around, I'm ready. MOPA is great in the fact that our competition allows six images. I put forth my six images. The one that blew me away though was the one called Here's Looking at You Kid, which was actually just taken on a whim. I didn't even realize or plan that particular photo. That image in and of itself, as good as it was at that point, wasn't ready. Thankfully, one of the amazing things about going to a MOPA event is the intimacy that you get there. It's always great to go to these great big conferences, but you can get lost in the crowd. And one of the fantastic things that they offered was one of our judges at the time, Peter Yu, offered to do a class on going over what it meant to do print competition and why it was important. And one of the things that he did was go through the attendees' images and maybe point out some of the things they could improve. That was fantastic for me. After the class was over, he offered anybody that wanted to stay after, he would talk more about it. And I was like, yes, please. So everybody else had classes. I got one-on-one -on -one time with a PPA judge to talk about my images, to improve my eye, to make me a better photographer. I had the opportunity to have him confirm some things with me, have his eye see things that I did not see, but once I saw it, totally made my image better. So I went back, I worked harder, I made it better, and I had the confirmation of the fact that my images were great out of camera. I now needed to work on my post-processing. So IPC rolls around. For those who are not familiar with IPC, that stands for International Print Competition. It's put on by PPA, Professional Photographers of America, which is an organization I highly recommend you are a part of. So I enter for the first time. I entered among 6,000 images that year, this past year. Of those images, I entered four. Of those four, I have one merit. Of that one merit, it went loan. For those who don't know what a loan is, it is a great honor for a photographer to be accepted into the loan collection. Of those 6,000 images, only 1,000 were picked. They're the best of the best. I was shocked, to say the least. And it all started in 2014 because a member of MOPA saw in me the potential to grow and become a better photographer and pushed me to become a better photographer. So why is it important to enter print competition? I know not everybody's going to go alone, but 
if I hadn't entered, I don't think my photography would have grown in the way that it has. I wouldn't have had the chance to meet some amazing photographers who are ready and willing to invest in my business and my personal growth. I wouldn't be where I am today if I hadn't had the opportunity and the push to enter into print competition. So my challenge to you, get off your butt, enter the competition. Even if you think you're not that great, you may be better than you expect. Even if you think it confirms that you're really not that great a photographer, you've still learned, you've still grown, and your eye is still being trained. And who knows, you may be the next person from MOPA to have an image go low. Who doesn't want that to happen? Be sure to sign up, MOPA and develop 2017.